Hi, and thanks for joining me today. My name is Renee Steen, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy technique for getting color on your page using spray color and gesso. I love the color wash sprays, the Dilutions brand, the Adirondack, all, all of them. I love them. But sometimes when I spray them and um, get excess and have to blot it with a paper towel, a lot of times I feel like I'm wasting more of the color than I'm actually using. So with this technique that I'm going to show you, there's very little waste. Start out with your paper. Any kind of paper will work. I'm using a lightweight watercolor paper today. Put some gesso on it. Grab a brush, spread the gesso around. You don't need to worry about brush strokes. The, the more marks on here, the better. You want sort of a thick layer. When you've got that spread, turn your brush around and make some marks. The more marks, the better. Okay, when you've got it marked up, decide on the, the sprays that you're going to use. I'm going to use uh, red pepper, squeezed orange, and pure sunshine. Let's see what happens. If you like a lot of color, use a lot of spray. If you like something a little more subtle, of course, then you would use less. Play around to see what combination of colors you like the best. Alright, when you're satisfied with the color that you have on, take another piece of paper and lay it right over the top. You can smooth it with your hand. If you have a brayer and you want to run a brayer across, you can do that. Then take the pages apart and you've got two backgrounds, mirrored images of each other. This is the original one where I made the marks with the paintbrush and you can see the marks come across on the one that you press over the top. So it's kind of fun. That's why I say the more marks the better. It makes for a more interesting background. So now set these aside to let them dry and then you can do whatever you want with them. Collage, journal on them, uh, paint, and it, it doesn't work with only watercolor paper. So for the next one, um, this is a page from a hymnal. Same thing. Add some gesso. Spread that around. Kind of a thick layer. Now I'll make some marks. Uh, for this one, let's go blues and greens. Got a vibrant turquoise and fresh lime. I think I'll throw a little bit of the sunshine, pure sunshine on here too. And then over the top of that hymnal page, I've got a dictionary page from an old dictionary. And again, lay it right over the top. Spread it either with your hand or with the brayer. Okay, peel them apart. And you've got two pretty pages ready to go. You can, you know, use these, you can use these as they are, or you can let them dry and then tear them apart, collage them together to make a real interesting background. I went fairly um, 
light on this so you can see the dictionary pages or the dictionary words through the, the gesso layer. Same thing on this hymnal page. You can see some of the music notes and the text in the background. So it it's, makes for very interesting background for a collage. So I hope that you enjoyed the technique. I hope you'll try it. And if you tag me, I would love to see what you've come up with. Again, my name's Renee Steen. Thank you for watching. Bye.